Uh, we needed something that was small enough to get up and into the tight sections of woodland we were in because we knew that access was an issue. So we knew that we couldn't, we didn't have the space or, um, or that the land was so steep that we wouldn't be able to logistically put another track in beside it, a rough track for us to actually bring stone into. So we had to have some way of transporting it in. We currently have a track dumper, um, uh, a small uh, a small track dumper, but the issue with that is that it isn't self-loading. You're freeing up either an extra member of staff or an extra machine, and it's, it's removed the, the need for having another machine taken up just for the loading of stone. Like our machine that we used to uh, um, to load the other track dumper we now use to grade out the stone that we're bringing in with this so you've got you've got kind of double the productivity in that in that section then. it's a good bit of kit to to carry things around with so when we're carrying kit around you know we can we can load we can lift up the whacker plate with it we can we can lift up uh, fuel cans with it we can put other all our tools inside the machine and we can take them to any point that we're at on the hill so it's reducing manual handling massively in those parts and also it's reducing the need to you know to run uh, wheelbarrows through sections that before our other track dumper wouldn't wouldn't reach it's also being a pedestrian machine we you know it requires training from ourselves in-house but you don't require any uh, any tickets to actually uh, to drive the machine, so you're freeing up a you know a, a qualified digger driver or dumper driver who can move uh, who can do more of the grunt work in the other parts of the trail, um, or more of the sculpting of features or jumps. Whereas you, you can have one of your one of your labourers using this. Um, with a bit of in-house training, um, it doesn't take long to get used to driving it. It's solid, it's, it's reliable, it's, it's well built and now we're pretty comfortable on, on any terrain with the machine. Um, we've, got, we've got some pretty steep terrain here and we've got, some, uh, we've got all sorts of varied terrain. You're going through clay, you're going through slightly peaty sections, we've got open exposed bedrock, you know, we've got tree roots that are slightly off camber, you know, all of these things you you get used to driving it fairly quickly with it it's fairly it and the controls are pretty intuitive but yeah we've we've definitely um tested it to its limit on this project and it hasn't really missed a beat i think it's definitely saved time and it's definitely been a great help for the for the project and i think with um uh with the kit that we were using before i think we wouldn't have got nearly as far as we have